uphill by Christina Rossetti. Does the road wind uphill all the way? Yes, to the very end. Will the day's journey take the whole long day from morn to night, my friend? But is there for the night a resting place? A roof for when the slow dark hours begin. May not the darkness hide it from my face. You cannot miss that end. Shall I meet other wayfarers at night? Those who have gone before. Then must I knock or call when just in sight. They will not keep you standing at that door. Shall I find comfort, travel sore and weak? Of labor you shall find the sum. Will there be beds for me and all who seek? Yeah, beds for all who come. Summary. The poem is an exchange of questions and answers that compares life to a journey. The journey is uphill all the way, but at the end it is an inn, a resting place that cannot be missed and which has a room for everyone. Uphill is the final poem in Christina Rossetti's classic 1862 collection Goblin Market and Other Poems. Structured as a question and answer dialogue, it presents a simple yet haunting allegory comparing life to a journey and death to a resting place after that journey. The poem warns that death is inevitable and universal but doesn't explicitly guarantee any reward beyond the grave apart from the simple comfort of rest itself. Yet, it can also be read in consoling terms as a suggestion that heaven awaits like a welcoming inn for very souls. Is all of life an uphill struggle? Yes, right till the end. Will the journey of life last the entire day? Yes, my friend, all the way from morning till evening. Will there be a place to stop and rest at night? After the journey, yes, there will be lodging when those long dark hours start. Is it possible I'll overlook this lodging in the darkness? No, you can't miss it. Will I encounter other travelers during the night? Yes, all those who have journeyed on this road before you. So do I need to knock on the door or call for entry when I see the place? They won't keep you waiting there before they let you in. Will I find relief in this lodging? When I am tired and aching from travel, you will find all that your hard work has earned you. Will there be enough beds for me and everyone who seeks the place? Yes, enough for everyone who makes it. Uphill analysis. Uphill is written in a common style for poetry. It consists of four verses with four lines each. Notably, Uphill is written from the perspective of two distinct narrators, one who asks questions and one who provides answers. These narrators are kept easily separate from one another by the simple rhythmic pattern of the piece. It is rhymed in an ABAB style where every A, which is to say the first and the third line of each verse rhyme, is spoken by one narrator and every B line the other. To further simplify this, the lines also alternate between asking questions and giving answers. In this way, Prosetti is able to craft a poetic conversation between two people without complicating her work in any way. Normally a fairly difficult thing to do. Between the rhyming and the narration pattern, this is an easy poem to read and follow and flows nicely despite the somewhat erratic syllable count for each verse. Stanza 1. Does the road wind uphill all the way? Yes, to the very end. Will the day's journey take the whole long day from morn to night, my friend? In the first verse, the author seems to be drawing on the common uphill battle metaphor to inform the title of the poem. The first speaker asks about the road and whether or not it is uphill for its entire length as well as whether or not the time it will take to walk the road will mean the entire day. The description of the whole long day is an unusual choice, especially since without the word long, this line would match the first one for syllables. Its addition is meaningful in showing the reader that the speaking asking questions is tired. 
their uphill journey has clearly taken some time up to this point and they are anxious for its conclusion it is also possible that the long day in contrast to simply the day refers to a 24 hour period this seems likely based on the answer they receive that their journey will not be over before sundown the second narrator's lines are much shorter than the first ones they are succinct the only aspect of their character of particular note is that they refer to the other speaker as their friend stanza 2 but is there for the night a resting place a roof for when the slow dark hours begin may not the darkness hide it from my face you cannot miss that in the questions and answers continue with the second verse where atmosphere begins to become noticeable the two characters portrayed here are clearly very different in their perspectives on the uphill journey the first speaker is unsure and lacks confidence here they ask if there is a place they can stay for the night since their journey will take so long as soon as they are told that such a place exists they worry that they'll miss seeing it the second speaker by contrast is certain not only that there is an end for shelter against the dark but that they will undoubtedly find it before it is too dark to see it is an odd experience as a reader to alternate between fear and confidence in every line of the work because that he has chosen to portray one journey through two opposite viewpoints and yet it remains easy to follow and understand stanza 3 shall i meet other wayfarers at night those who have gone before then must i knock or call when just in sight they will not keep you standing at the door in the third and second to last verse the questioning narrator wonders about the inn they are to find and whether or not they will be welcome there this is a strange line of thought the idea of an inn after all is for anyone to find shelter and an inn is constructed with nomads in mind and yet the speaker here is concerned that they will be unwelcome despite assurances from their companion that they will be welcomed by the other wayfarers the first speaker hopes to find friends in their same predicament and are told that they will the anxieties of the initial speaker and the confidence of the second one continue to be the prominent theme of the work though the identities of both remain concealed stanza 4 shall i find comfort travel so and peak of labor you shall find the sum will there be beds for me and all who seek ya yeah, beds for all who come the idea of two friends walking up a hill for a full day is a rather unlikely scenario in the literal sense the expression from which up till likely was inspired refers to situations and scenarios that require harder work than usual to overcome walking down a pathway versus walking up a hill in a figurative sense the speaker asking questions in this work is attempting to overcome an obstacle and liken it to trying to walk uphill for a full day the second speaker could be a friend encouraging them along the way or it could be another aspect of their own personality their sense of optimism or determination to finish what they have started the idea of an inn along the way in which lies comfort equal to the work put in of labor you shall find the sum as well as other people climbing the same hill is a likely metaphor for friends and family it is difficult to put it lightly to attempt to cross over any kind of obstacle without any kind of support if it was easy to do after all it wouldn't be much of an obstacle so the speaker draws on their own sense of self and imagines that at the end of the day there will be a roof over their head perhaps they are going home to their family or perhaps the inn is where they can meet up with friends and forget about the hardships of the day the amazing thing about uphill is that any of the above interpretations are possible when the entire poem is read in a metaphorical context at its core the poem is about two voices one struggling and seeking rest and another encouraging them and telling them they will find it nearly everyone should be able to relate to this in some way because the poem is intentionally written to stand on the fine line between vague and relatable what exactly the speakers are doing in trying to ascend this climb 
is unspecified because it doesn't matter what does matter is that second voice that encourages them assures them and helps them to find rest a friend a family member or an internal voice to every reader it will be someone different the important thing however is that it will be someone